We don't really know the Milky Way galaxy. Yes, even though we live inside it. Before you imagine this as some abstract astrophysics problem, it's not. Even some of the basic facts about our own galaxy remain uncertain. How many stars are there? What shape does the spiral truly take? Two arms or four? For decades, astronomers have debated these questions, shifting between theories as new data trickled in. Current estimates suggest anywhere from 100 billion to 400 billion stars. But no one can say for sure. That's because studying the Milky Way from within it is like trying to draw a map of your own house while standing in one room. You can see what's near you, but not the full shape. And yet, there's another question far stranger than all of these. How many galaxies exist within the Milky Way? That sounds impossible, but according to the European Space Agency's Gaia Space Telescope, the answer is more than one. Over a decade of mapping our stars, Gaia performed more than three trillion observations. And somewhere in those numbers, something unexpected appeared. About 30,000 stars, out of billions, were moving in the wrong direction. They didn't belong here. I'm Alex McColgan, and you're watching Astrion. When you look up at the night sky, you're staring through layers of cosmic fog, gas, dust, and billions of overlapping stars. Near the galactic center, this fog thickens into what astronomers call the zone of avoidance. It's a region where visible light can't pass easily. If the Milky Way were a house, the zone of avoidance would be the solid wall blocking you from seeing the rest of your rooms. Scientists rely on other forms of light, infrared, X-rays, and radio waves, to peek through that wall. But even then, distance becomes another mystery. Imagine standing in a dark room with two lights ahead. One could be a small lamp nearby, the other a massive spotlight far away. Both look the same brightness. How do you tell which is which? Astronomers face that problem every day. Some stars, like Cepheid variables, help by pulsating predictably, a cosmic heartbeat that reveals how far away they are. But for most, we rely on one remarkable trick of geometry, parallax. You can test parallax right now. Hold your finger in front of your face, close one eye, then the other. Notice how your finger seems to jump? That shift happens because your two eyes see from slightly different angles. The closer the object, the greater the jump. Gaia used the same principle, but instead of a few centimeters between eyes, it used the entire orbit of the Earth as its baseline. Every six months, Earth moves from one side of the Sun to the other, and Gaia captures how distant stars appear to shift. With simple trigonometry, that shift becomes distance. Over ten years of data, that baseline grows even larger, and the precision becomes astonishing. But Gaia didn't stop at mapping star distances. It also measured their motion, their drift across the galaxy's backdrop. Stars that move faster relative to others are usually closer. By combining motion and parallax, Gaia built a three-dimensional model of our galaxy with unprecedented accuracy. Two billion stars mapped in exquisite detail. Each observation carried information beyond position, color, luminosity, temperature, even chemical fingerprints. Its dual telescopes fed into a billion pixel camera, while onboard instruments recorded how starlight stretched or compressed, revealing whether stars were moving toward or away from us. Over time, this became not just a map, but a time lapse of the Milky Way itself. And within that time lapse, something strange emerged. 30,000 stars didn't follow the usual path. While most stars orbit the galactic center in one direction, this group moved backward, against the grain of the galaxy. Their colors and chemical signatures didn't match surrounding stars either. It was as if a whole population had wandered in from somewhere else. Scientists modeled the data and discovered a stunning possibility. Around 10 billion years ago, another small galaxy collided with our own. They named it Gaia Enceladus. When the two merged, its stars were swallowed but not erased, scattered across the Milky Way, still carrying their original motion. In the simulation, you can see these stars glowing red, distinct from the spiral arms around them, remnants of a cosmic meal long digested. That merger may have changed the Milky Way's very shape, 
possibly forming its bright central bar, a feature only two-thirds of spiral galaxies possess. But the story doesn't end there. Evidence suggests multiple mergers followed. A dwarf galaxy called Arjuna Sequoia Aitoi likely entered alongside Gaia Enceladus, orbiting together like twin prey. Later came others, small galaxies that were gradually torn apart and absorbed. In total, Gaia's data hints that the Milky Way may have consumed as many as six smaller galaxies over its lifetime, and it's not finished yet. The Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy has already collided with us three times in the past five billion years and is on course for another. Some astronomers even believe one of those earlier impacts triggered the birth of our own sun. One day, all of Sagittarius's stars will be stretched and blended into our own. Galaxy number seven in the Milky Way's long appetite for survival. Yet, for all Gaia has revealed, its mission is ending. The spacecraft used cold gas thrusters to hold its position at the second Lagrange point, a gravitational sweet spot balanced between the Earth and Sun. But after a decade of use, that propellant has run out. On January 15, 2025, Gaia captured its final set of observations. By March 27, it will shut down for good, drifting silently in the void. Still, its legacy is just beginning. Two massive data releases remain, the next in 2026, containing 500 terabytes of new measurements covering the first five and a half years of its mission. Future releases will refine everything from binary star counts to potential exoplanet signals hidden within subtle stellar wobbles. Gaia's discoveries reach beyond our galaxy, too. It has mapped 150,000 asteroids, revealed that over 350 of them have moons, and charted 1.3 million quasars, some so distant that their light began its journey when the universe was barely 1.5 billion years old. It even uncovered a previously unknown black hole, 33 times the mass of our sun, only 2,000 light years away, the largest of its kind ever found in the Milky Way. And yet, this is only the beginning of what its data can tell us. ESA has already proposed a successor, Gaia NIR, equipped to see deeper into the infrared spectrum, able to pierce the dust that blinded Gaia's vision. If approved, it will launch around 2045, building on Gaia's map with even greater precision. But until then, Gaia's story stands as a quiet triumph. A telescope no larger than a small car has changed how we see the galaxy we call home. It taught us that our spiral arms are not still, they twist and ripple from ancient collisions. It showed us that our sun may be a child of cosmic violence, and it reminded us that even something as vast as the Milky Way is not eternal. It grows, devours, and transforms. When you look up tonight, remember this. The starlight above you isn't just our galaxy shining. It's the light of other worlds. Ghosts of galaxies long gone, absorbed into the one we now live in. I'm Alex McColgan, and you've been watching Astrion. If you enjoyed this journey through the Milky Way's hidden history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Because somewhere in that sky, another story is waiting. And we're just beginning to see it.